Well, and my name is Orna Rakowitzki, and I would like to know um, what you actually thought you, you, you've seen on borrowed time, and I would like to get a little bit of your feedback. What was your first reaction? Well, so we're about to walk in and actually see the film premiere, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's a second part of a trilogy that Emilio Rosso, this amazing actor, director, writer, filmmaker, producer, is doing. Mm -hmm. And the first one that he did was Last Man Standing, and I had the pleasure of watching that last year. We were kind of at the same festival. And that was an amazing, amazing thing that he did because not only did it take a lot of courage as a filmmaker for him to take on a subject that's that heavy and that's that difficult and frankly that that dangerous, mm -hmm. but also the fact that he had the vision to to expose a, a subject matter that really nobody knew anything about and mm -hmm. nobody was aware of. So that the first project was amazing, and I commend him for having the vision to want to do you know two more. And here we are at the red carpet for the second one. I can't wait to see how Roman Gonan single-handedly takes down the Israeli mafia, which is this organization organization that you know, it's just it's inconceivable to think that one person could take it down and just exactly why he took it down how he took it down and kind of how he's living his life these are all you know amazing questions that Emilio uh, endeavors to answer that's great <laughs> and actually what what was your other impression of having seen last man standing because now you know sort of a, a full story um, did anything grab you in particular about any of the characters or or the the last two men standing? Suppose. Yeah, you know, honestly, there were so many things about it that grabbed me, but probably not the least was which that they were willing to talk on camera. It, it's just, it was amazing to me, and, and as I sat there watching it in the theater, I remember thinking, you know, it's, it's unthinkable what these people have done. You know, and here they are just standing there sort of talking like a regular person, and my mind just kept running through what are the things that these people have done? What are they guilty of? And uh, and that was sort of sobering because, you know, you see the human side of somebody that has, that you know, committed some evil. And, uh, and that was really, um, that was really, you know, it affected me quite a bit. And then the fact that just the way that it, it all sort of unraveled uh, and it came down on them was incredible because, again, you think of this group as being tight-knit. Um, and the way that it ended is just, it was incredible that it came down that way. Do you have any feelings about Roman as, like, going into On Borrowed Time and seeing that he was he was the informant, um, what do you think as you go in? Like, what do you anticipate? You know, I, I go in with an open mind. He wouldn't have necessarily been somebody that I would have, had I not known, I wouldn't have necessarily predicted that he would be the one to do it. Um, and so from that standpoint, it, it's, I'm not going to say it was, a, it was a surprise, but it also wasn't predictable for me. And so I'm just looking forward to seeing how he tells his story and what it is that he puts forward as, as far as what his reasons were, what he did. Okay. Okay, well, I like that. I like that. Well, welcome again, and thank you for your feedback. And hope